Welcome folks, I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Jules Dreyer. We're looking at Luigi's Mansion 3 story and gameplay trailer from Nintendo Direct E3 2019. I don't even know if this is officially out, it's from a different uh, YouTube channel, Prosophia Gaming. It's got 1.8 million subscribers, so uh, mostly upvotes. I imagine this is legitimate. Let's check it out. Invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye. For not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the straw bulbs, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required, and other new features as well. First, the slam. While trapping the ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. <laughs> Next, the <Damn>. suction shot. <laughs> Find the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string and... Oh, that's cool. Destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain... Ghosts. So that's a very big part of the game, the slamming. Yeah. You get a lot of aggression out Sometimes with this game. Ghosts may feel inclined to hang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released to blow away ghosts. So it looks like a little fart. <laughs> a little. A little <laughs> looks pretty powerful to me. Whatever gets people away when you need them to, right? Amen. I'll do anything. Luigi. <laughs> Change between Luigi and Guigi to use both their skills. Guigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Oh, this is cool. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for a great color. That sounds awesome. I was wondering yeah. about that. Proceed with caution. Guigi and water definitely <gasps> don't mix. Oh boy. Now please direct your attention to the scare scraper. Spooky? Sure. Yet it also houses a two eight players for the local or online co-op game. Wow. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toes. And face any challenges the tower throws at you. But no one can be read. <laughs> I love the idea of this being multiplayer. I think that's so awesome. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorites, um, when the Wii U came out, they had these multiplayer games in, I think it was called Nintendo Land was the name of the game. Mm -hmm. It was just like a bunch of different mini games. And one of my favorite ones was the Luigi's Mansion one. The possibility of scaring your, your friend and like trying to see if you can freak them out. And that's how you get your points. When Luigi's Mansion first came out, I had no idea it was going to become this long-running yeah. franchise. Yeah. Like, that's just crazy. But the the possibility of being able to do couch co-op is what excites me most. Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's a minor aspect of the game, but just the possibility of doing that is super cool because then, people, you know, your friends or l loved ones can participate in the game <laughs> with you. And I think that's just neat, you know? Yeah. Uh, it all, or it gives you another excuse to have an argument if you're into that. No, you didn't do it right. You went down the train. What's the matter with you, boo? <laughs> or if you don't have friends, you could just play three times. Three times more of the fun. Right? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, Never mind. That went over my head. It's all good. How do you oh, explain the joke? I don't understand. I want to laugh. What happened? Like, uh, if you if you don't have any friends, you can you can uh, play it three different times, three different ways. 
Never mind. So? It's all good. Never mind. <laughs> it's all fine. It's it's past. I'm alone with my jokes. The time. Um, so yeah, but even even if you're playing alone, the idea of having this other uh, counterpart with you to facilitate different aspects of playing the game of going through like these, you know, it's it's neat to say the least. Um, it almost like it's it's like for for some reason it almost feels like a cheat. But then I realized this is all built into the gameplay mechanics. Like these are all yeah. cre you know structured stages. They're not going to let you. They're not going to create this thing to help you cheat the game. You know? Correct. Yeah. Not not a Guigi. Guigi. Yeah. Yeah. Guigi. <laughs> solid name. Uh, and, and the possibility of doing online gameplay with this sort of game is the most unexpected direction to take this. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, like. This is something I would actually consider playing online with because I'm not much of an online player. I, I not even Mario Kart. Like I hate competing against people from around the world who yeah. I know it's like some person who lives in like South Korea and it just is doing nothing but playing this all day long. And then my you know long. goofy casual ass is gonna come along and try to compete with that. Hell no. You lose. <laughs> but but this seems like a cooperative yeah. thing where you're actually working together to yeah. take care of take out the ghosts and stuff yes. like that. And so I I think this is such a neat idea, and the fact that you can play this on the go, because this is probably for Nintendo Switch, it says, uh, yeah, it says Nintendo Switch. I mean, there's no other Nintendo system on the horizon just yet. Although I did hear that they were gonna release a different version of Switch, but that's just been a rumor, like Nintendo Switch 1 point something or 2.0 or whatever. But um, it was gonna have like a bigger screen or or something, and the controllers, you, you weren't gonna be able to remove them. Like, they, they were, there's some like rumors going around about what the new Nintendo Switch is gonna have. But anyway, um, this theoretically, they're all gonna play the same game still. That being said, the idea that you can take this game and play it anywhere, you know, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection, yeah. you can literally play online with people anywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's super cool. Uh, yeah. You know? You said you played Luigi's Mansion as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah, the first one, the very, very first one. And me, how, how me does... And, this... Me and my brothers would play that a lot. So, conceivably, you'd be playing this with your brothers then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. So, this is a lot more, it seems like, interactive and, uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to play it. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah. But I love creepy games. Okay. I love, uh, Fr Fr Freddy's, Friday Night at Freddy's, right? Mm -hmm. Love that one. So if the, if this is anything like that, I'll I'll be into it. Um, I like the I, l I really like the implementation of the of the slam. Nintendo does this interesting thing where they add on just a little bit each time, each iteration. Like with Mario, for instance. I mean, it's arguable that they added a lot more for Odyssey, but it seems like with each installation of the earlier Mario games, like okay, now you get a feather. <laughs> You know, yeah. now you now you can be a squirrel or whatever it is. Or th th now you can throw fire. Like the, each installment gives you one extra power, and they really design a, you know a very thoughtful game around that. And they don't give you just a bunch of stuff. They give you a few things, and they strategically uh, design the games around that power. And it, mm -hmm. I think that's really smart. Uh, and so here they give you the ability to slam and Guiji. These are two new additions to the game, and they're and I like the idea of being able to slam things because like that was one of the things with Luigi's Mansion that I I felt a, a hindrance with is like it just felt a little bit limited in how you can move and what you can do. It's like uh, the Toad game, for instance. I bought that one for it was originally for the Wii U, and then they released it for the DS, and then now it's on the Switch. And I almost bought it again, but then I rem I remembered that. Like, it was fun, but I hated, like, I just got irritated with the limitation of how Toad moved. Oh. And, yeah, and so, yeah. like, he, he, it's like, it was very, it was very slow because it was a puzzle game. It, was, it wasn't Mario, and it wasn't trying to be Mario. It was trying to be its own thing, and it did very, very well. I just liked the idea of being able to move, and so, here, at least they're giving us a little bit more. To be able to slam things around makes it a, makes it a little bit more interactive as opposed to just sucking things up everywhere yeah. you go. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. that's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I I totally love the idea of being able to do more with this with this environment. I'm definitely gonna pick it up for sure, um, and maybe I'll buy one for my mom, and then we can play. No, seriously, she's got a switch. She lives upstairs from me, and so I don't want to be next to my mom all the time, but I always want to be in touch with her, and so we can play the game together. Yeah, you guys. Ugh, yeah, How cool is that? That's so romantic. Romantic. Yeah.
I think that's the wrong word, but anyway. Um, <laughs> you guys have a very intimate relationship. Yeah, yeah, so, but yeah, my mom doesn't really, I bought her a Switch and then my sister ended up taking over. I bought her a Switch so she could, so she, she could play Tetris. Does she, does she know how to play lots of the games? Because I know if I gave my grandmother a Nintendo Switch, she would not know how to even plug it in. My mom knows how to play the old Mario games. Okay. And she knows how to play Tetris. Okay, so like me. And Dr. Mario. <laughs> Yeah, and so, but like, I feel like this is a pretty simple game to, the mechanics are pretty simple. I feel like she'd mm -hmm. be able to get on board with this very quickly, and it wouldn't be too much of a challenge for her. So, um, because, the, because the control mechanics are a lot simpler, compared to something like Mario Odyssey, right? Like, Mario used to be simple. It's just a side-scrolling, you jump, you know, you use your power, whatever it is. But it, with it being three-dimensional, my mom just felt overwhelmed and she never tried it. Um, whereas this, even though it's three-dimensional, the mechanics are fairly simple. He's not moving too quickly. I don't think you're, you're even controlling the camera. So, anyway, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Jules on the social media and check out the jabs if you feel like doing that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Jules. Peace out.